Hello everyone, DJ Symfinity here with a tutorial on how to get your music from your iTunes to Record Box and a USB so that you can play it on Pioneer CDJs. Let's get started. So first what you want to do is you want to find your music in iTunes. Like so, I know that I want my reggae playlist on iTunes to be put on my USB for play later today. Now here it is in iTunes, there it is, it's great. So I'm gonna open up Rekordbox now and we will scroll to the section that has our iTunes. But as we can see here, it does not show up. So what we have to go into is Sync Manager in the bottom left corner and we have to go to scroll down the iTunes section check the synchronize iTunes playlist button and then as you can see my reggae playlist is nested under my DJ folder and here it is unchecked and I'm going to just check that and hit this arrow right here in the center boom it'll import those tracks to record box so that the system has them ready to be analyzed and put on the USB. Um, now, we're going to close out of this. We're going to just make sure that reggae got over here. Great, reggae's in the center. We can close this dialog box. Now, I have iTunes, this iTunes section in the left corner of the screen, and it should show reggae under DJ now. I'm just going to hit refresh one time. Um, there it is, reggae. Now I'm going to quick, uh, well I guess I'm not going to quick. It's The program is going to slowly analyze these tracks, but I'm going to grab one so that it starts doing it right away. There we go, so I just drug dragged it wasn't me by shaggy up into the top section of the screen and so now the sound wave is shown there as you can see and i'm just going to hit the space bar to play it it's all right so there we go now that that is in there, we can set cue points. We can scroll through this song like this, so, and we can set a cue point wherever we want. So, pretty sure this is a big downbeat here. Let's just play it to make sure. Boom, boom, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you can see. Alright, so here we got Shaggy playing. Um, what we can do here is hit this Q button. Boom. Q. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. And that's a little offbeat, but we're not going to worry about it. We're going to address that in part two. So, as we can see, these are our songs. And what we can do now is get them all onto our USB. So what I'm going to do is plug in a trusty USB without knocking over my camera. There we go. The USB should show up now in the left corner of the screen, the same place as the iTunes shows up there. And we can see here it is, devices, E, Right now it doesn't have any tracks on it. So what I'm going to do is then go on again into Sync Manager. And we're going to open the DJing section. And we're going to sync reggae. If it will check the box for me here, which it's looking like it's not really wanting to strangely enough all right 
right. Let's ah, check the box that says synchronize playlist with the device. Easy to overlook, even for a pro. Now um, I can check in Reggae, which is going to let us click into there. And now all those songs are going to export, denoted here on the bottom portion of the record box screen. It says exporting to E. Now, best practice is to have a USB 3.0 so that your tracks will export to your USB very quickly, but more importantly, they will be read by the CDJs much more quickly. I made the mistake of putting my music on a USB 2.0 one time, and it was ugly. These songs took 10 seconds to load into the player, and when you are DJing live, that is a problem. So again, I recommend a 3.0. Just get a good Samsung 64 gig USB from Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. Um, so there we go, our tracks are exporting. They'll eventually get onto our USB and be readable by the CDJs. And uh, make sure you join us for part two where we go delve into what else you can do on Rekordbox to analyze your tracks and put beat markers in so that you can really be ready to DJ without even having touched the turntables. All right, we'll see you in part two. Thanks.